Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. I want to invite you. Hey, yo, yo, what's shaking? Once again, welcome to another episode of Cab Cabernet's Wine of the Day, a division of Crushed Grapes TV. I am Mr. Cab Cabernet. And uh, if you don't know by now, Crushed Grapes is a lifestyle. Yes, I know, I know, I've been away for what seems like uh, too long to some of you, and um, maybe some of you don't even give a damn, I wasn't even missed, you know? Um, but I, I've been busy. Uh, yeah, I, I started a new venture as well, a uh, transportation venture, so that's taken up a lot of my time and uh, necessary energies and focus that I uh, could not give to the internet for wine tastings. So I'm going to try to uh, work that out. There's 24 hours in a day and um, I'm trying to manage my time better. So um, with that being said, uh, it's good to see you again. And I hope you missed this month. And uh, if you haven't, then, you know, I don't know what to tell you. No, this is not a cigar pairing. Um, I know it may seem that way. I'm just having a cigar. So what we're tasting today, we're going all the way to Italy, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Sicily, Sicilia to be uh, <clears throat> exact. As, as you know, I try to taste only wines that I feel are interesting and um, you know, also hard to find because uh, that's interesting to me, rare, rarity or scarcity. And I want you to uh, go out and, and look up things by yourself, you know, <clears throat> hunt. Uh, I think that's part of the adventure of wine tasting is the hunting. It's just like a, a, a DJ uh, who digs, digs for record. They call it dig, digging in the crates, right? DJs like to go out and just look for vinyl records. You know, they're collectors. So when they find a gem, it's like the five hours they spent hunting just to find one or two rare gems is worth it. So <clears throat> uh, it's a Frappato Nerello Mascarese. Frappato Nerello Mascarese. So Frappato. It's 50% and Nerello Mascarese is also 50%. It's a blend. The uh, house is Caruso Minini. Let's see here. Yeah. So I found this wine interesting um, because of the grapes themselves. Uh, these grapes are not mentioned much, especially. Um, I don't see tasting, I haven't seen a tasting on this blend or the, either one of these grapes. Um, so I wanted to taste it with you guys and put you on to these grapes. There are hundreds of grapes in Italy, of course, that you've never heard of. And um, so well, Italy has one of the you know, uh, biggest grape varietals in the world. So this blend is, um, what I find is it's very balanced, okay? Um, and, and that's, you know, it's 50-50 of these two grapes. <clears throat> these two grapes are also very complementary to each other, uh, if you've done any research on these grapes. So uh, what I noticed immediate, immediately when I opened it up and it's become more apparent on the nose is the spices. Um, there's cinnamon, um, but like, it's like a burnt cinnamon. It's like the cinnamon you get, um, I guess like, uh, like, like, like cinnamon toast, you know? You know, um, that's very, 
are very apparent. You get some tobacco. Um, yeah, this is a, it's a beautiful nose. It's very earthy and spicy. Let's give it a smack. -o. Notice that every time I'm doing a tasting, these maniacs outside start leaning on their horn. People are losing their minds. But anyway, the um, so this is uh, unripe jam, which. Uh, or preserves, which could, you know, you could find as good or bad. I like unripe jam. Little, little uh, tangy bitterness to it. Um, but uh, also very, uh, or, or some unripe tomatoes um, as well. So on top of that, I can taste some herbs which is interesting the herbs yeah they're like italian type uh her herbs that that um i found like italian foods um cilantro i can taste uh maybe even a hint of like uh garlic um you're getting interesting flavors. That you know, that's something that I really dig about Italian wines as well, um, and that's something I've gathered over the years. Italian wines. That I think that's why uh, Italians drink wine uh, with all of their meals, and, and and you know, I think I think all of their wines complement their meals. You know, um, like the 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 main. The main dishes, or most of the dishes that I know of in, in, in Italian cuisine, um, all include tomatoes, cheese, and herbs, right? So, you know, red sauces and things of this nature. Um, tomatoes are always involved, so uh, there's, a, there's a very interesting communication, if you will, um, and bond between red wines and tomatoes because of that. Um, so, yeah, uh, I dig this wine. On my crushed grapes 10 bottle rating, I'd probably give this a six. It's better than average, and um, I dig it. It's a, it's a balanced blend. You should definitely check out uh, not only uh, Caruso Menini, the producer, but also uh, the grapes Frappato and Nerello Mascalese. Um, this is a 2016 blend, 50-50, and 13.5% uh, alcohol, and uh, it's quite delicious. That'll do it for Cal Cabernet's wine of the day. And um, if you'd like me to taste your wine, your brand, Feel free to email me at um, kglifestyle1 at gmail.com or you can DM me on uh, Instagram as well. Once again, this is Cap Cabernet's Wine of the Day. I am Cap Cabernet, Lifestyle Connoisseur. And if you don't know by now, crushed grapes is a lifestyle. Sip it slow. Cheers. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cat 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 Cabernet.